in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen dear children of god sisters and brothers in the lord we welcome all of you to this online worship this worship service comes to you for the 30th of may 2021 sunday first sunday after pentecost which is called uh, the trinity sunday last sunday we celebrated pentecost and uh, the first sunday after pentecost is usually celebrated in the church as trinity sunday in tamil they call it tiruthuva tirunal it's a festival day actually because we celebrate the holy trinity on this special sunday we praise god for the trinitarian god let us pray let us pray gracious and loving god we thank you for revealing yourself as a trinitarian god thank you for this trinity sunday god the father we praise you god the son we praise you god the holy spirit we praise you along with all the saints we praise you saying holy 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 we are grateful to you for your mercy and grace for bringing us hither true in our personal life in our community life in our church life please bless this worship service and uh, let it be a meaningful one o lord because we pray in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen
before we have the scripture readings. Let us confess our sins to God. Let us confess our sins which we did against our neighbors, our fellow humans, brothers and sisters. Let us also confess our sins that we did against nature, destroying the creation. Let us also confess our sins that we did against God, the Trinitarian God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. If we confess our sins, God is gracious and merciful to forgive us and give us eternal life. Amen. I'm going to do the prayer, the collect for the day, for today's uh, special Sunday, the Trinity Sunday. Let us pray the collect for May the 30th, 30th of May, 2021. Let us pray. O blessed Trinity, in whom we know the maker of all things, seen and unseen, the savior of all, both near and far, by your spirit enable us so to worship and sing to your divine majesty that with all the company of heaven we may magnify your glorious name singing holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory glory be to you o lord most high through jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now let us hear the word of God to be read for us from the scripture. Three readings. First reading from Genesis. Second reading from Second Corinthians. And the third reading from the fourth gospel. The Old Testament reading is taken from Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 28. Genesis chapter 1, beginning from verse 1. The creation of the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the God was hovering over the face of waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be expanse in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. God made the expanse and separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse and it was so and God called the expanse heaven and there was evening and there was morning the second day and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together he called seas and God saw that it was good. And God said, let the, let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seeds, and fruit, trees bearing fruit in which there is their seeds, each according to its kind, on earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seeds according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seeds, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be light in the expanse of the heaven, to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years. 
and let them be light in the expanse of he of heavens to give light upon the earth and it was so and god made the two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars and god sent them in the expanse of heavens to give light on the on the earth to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from darkness and god saw that it was good and there was evening and there was morning the fourth day god said let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures and let the birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens so god created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm according to their kind and every winged bird according to its to its kind and god saw that it was good and god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth and there was evening and there was morning the fifth day and god said let the earth bring forth living creatures according to its their kind livestock and creeping things and beasts of the earth according to their kind and it was so and god made the beasts of the earth according to their kind and the livestock according to their kind and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind and god saw that it was good then god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them be and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the life over all the earth and every creeping thing that creeps on earth so god created man in his own image in image of god he created him male and female he created them and god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on earth here in soul testament reading thanks be to thee god the epistle reading is taken from paul's second letter to the corinthians chapter 13 verses 11 to 14 second corinthians 13 verses 11 to 14 final greetings finally brothers rejoice aim for restoration comfort one another agree with one another live in peace and the god of love and peace will be with you greet one another with a holy kiss All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Here ends the epistle reading. Thanks be to thee, O Christ. The Gospel lesson is taken from the Gospel according to St. John chapter 1. verses 1 to 18 John chapter 1 beginning from the first verse the word became flesh in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god all things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light but but came to bear witness about the light. The true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own people did not receive him. but to all who did receive him who believed in his name he gave them he gave the right to become children of god who were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of god and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we have seen his glory glory as of the only son from the father full of grace and truth john bore witness about him and cried out this was he of whom i said 
He who comes after me ranks before me because he was before me. For from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God who is at the Father's side. He has made him known. Here ends the gospel lesson. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Dear friends, now we are going to do the announcements for this day. As you all know, we are under a heavy lockdown in the whole of Tamil Nadu. And we are not able to record this from the altar. Dr. David J. Raj, who has been traveling to the church all these Sundays, is not able to travel today. Therefore, we are not able to record this from the church. Therefore, we are doing some brief uh, prayers and uh, the message which comes to you uh, on this uh, uh, online uh, worship. As announcements, before I do the other announcements, uh, I would like to read the names of those who are not well amongst us and uh, let us pray for them. The names are Mrs. Jaisili Samuel, Master Daniel Kolanda, Mr. Mervyn Olympus Monicum, Mrs. Eline Cloney, Mr. Ignatius Nathan, Mr. Philip J. Kumar, Miss Epsiba, Mr. B. Sampath Kumar, Mrs. Elizabeth Ribairo, Mrs. Ruby Palraj, Sister Amirda Josephine, Mrs. Arpudamani, Mrs. Noreen Malaka, Mr. Christopher Anderson, and uh, Mr. Surya Sam. Let us pray for these God's children. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for these your children. And we pray for these your children who are unwell. Some of them are at home. Some of them are at, uh, uh, admitted in the hospitals. We pray for your mercy, your grace upon them, empowering them both in body and spirit. We are not only praying for these, your children, but also all those who are affected because of this coronavirus, those who are admitted in hospitals, those who are uh, undertaking treatment in quarantine uh, places, in isolation as well. We pray for all the doctors, nurses, paramedical workers, sanitary workers. We pray for all those who are working very hard. Please bless all of them, Lord, and take care of them. We are also praying for this railway hospital, which is very near to us. Those who are admitted in the railway hospital in the Corona ward, please take care of them, Lord, and bless them. We pray for your mercies upon the whole nation, upon all nations. And we pray that you will give wisdom and knowledge for those who are working very hard to find out ways and means to bring a healing to all the nations, O oh Lord. This is how we depend upon you for your wisdom and for your mercy, for your knowledge. Very specially, we pray for India, which is suffering because of the second wave. And we are grateful to you that in the past few days, the statistics is coming down and uh, we are grateful to you for all those who are working very hard very especially in Tamil Nadu the ministers the MLAs very especially our chief minister who is working very hard please bless all of them Lord because we pray in Jesus name Amen dear children of God there are some more uh, uh, other announcements uh, um, first of all I understand, uh, I gather from uh, Dr. David J. Raj that there are some songs which have been sent by our church members to be included in this worship service. I encourage all of you to send uh, songs uh, to be included in the online worship uh, 
please send them to Dr. David J. Raj before Wednesday. That will be a great help. And uh, I also would like to uh, reiterate my request uh, for uh, uh, the Center of Friends that uh, we need uh, tailoring machines uh, immediately after the lockdown is over. We will be able to start a tailoring institute in the parish hall so that we will be able to uh, help the vicinity uh, people around uh, our church to be trained in a tailoring institute. Please come forward to uh, buy new machines or if you happen to have old machines, tailoring machines, come forward to offer to the church. And uh, finally, I would like to inform you uh, that uh, this month, uh, in the final week of this month, uh, we were not able to send uh, our uh, bill to the diocese on the billing date, uh, on the bill date, because we have not received uh, enough uh, offerings and contributions from the church members. You know that uh, we send uh, 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 an amount uh, assessed to the diocese and that goes to the salary of pastors for, for all over the diocese for all over the diocese but this year this month sorry this month we were able to send only six uh, three thousand rupees assessed our assess amount is uh, around fifty thousand rupees per month uh, but we sent only three thousand rupees please be uh, mindful of this, we were not able to uh, 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 give salary to our workers as well, but we got a loan uh, and uh, we were able to give salary to our workers for this month. So please send your offerings and a part of your pledges to the church uh, account, uh, which uh, you have uh, uh, already sent uh, to church uh, account number please transfer uh, by doing it uh, and it will be a great help for the next month uh, to do the things here so please send your offerings and also part of your pledge to the church to the church account friends now i am going to read the birthdays and wedding anniversaries for this week uh, and we'll be praying for these god children first of all birthdays the 30th of May, Mr. Eugene Manikaraj, Miss Sherry and Royal, Dr. Sheba Swarnarajam Abraham, Mr. Ebenezer Roberts, Miss Abigail Elisa Jackson. 31st of May, Mrs. Susan Shushma Jairaj. 1st of June, Miss Shasha. Suzanne Jacob. 2nd of June, Mr. Berlin Joes, Mrs. Jean Fetzerald. 3rd June, Mrs. Angeline Subiksha, Mrs. Anupama Elizabeth. 5th of June, Miss Joella Krislin, Mr. Vivek Babu, Mrs. J. Hepsibah Margaret, Miss Joel, Andrea John. Wedding anniversaries for this week. 31st of May, Mrs. Rose Jagan and Mr. D. Jagan. On the same day, Mrs. Sunalini Jacob and Mr. Jacob Manuel. 1st of June, Mrs. Diana Solomon. Mr. Chris Solomon. Shall we pray for these God's children? Please pray with me. God bless you on your birthday and wedding anniversary. God bless you and sustain you with each new dawning day. God grant you grace and wisdom to travel life's highway. God give you strength and courage when things perplex your mind. God help you reach your cherished goal. You seek and strive to find. God comfort you when distress and trouble come your way. God be with you and watch over you. We humbly ask and pray. Amen.
Moses, the servant of God. His heart is filled with obedience, faith and humility. Proverbs chapter 1 verses 8 to 10. My son, listen to your father's instruction and do not forsake your mother's teaching. For they are a garland to grace your neck and a chain to adore your neck. My son, if sinful men come and entice you, do not give in to them. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say, My Lord is my refuge and my fortress in my Lord in whom I trust. But now I will heal and mend them. I will make them whole and bless them with an abundance of peace and security. Jeremiah 33, 6 We make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Proverbs 16, verse 9 This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light. I'm gonna let him shine. Let him shine. Let him shine. Let him shine. Dear children of God, now we are going to the word of God, the message for this day, the Trinity Sunday. We celebrate the Holy Trinity. And uh, for this Sunday, from our Church of South India, as I have already told you, there are three passages which are given for us. Genesis 1st chapter, 2nd Corinthians 13th chapter, and uh, the, uh, John's gospel or the 4th gospel, 1st chapter. Before I move on to the message, I would like to give you a little humor which comes from a confirmation service. You know, the bishop was there in the confirmation service and uh, he asked uh, a young girl uh, to define the Holy Trinity. 
define Holy Trinity? That was the question to that young girl. And that young girl, with her feeble voice, told the bishop, God three in one and God one in three. That's all she said. But the bishop was not able to hear it because it was feeble. And uh, he again asked her, I am not able to understand. Please say it again. Immediately, that young girl said, Dear Bishop, don't worry if you are not able to understand the Holy Trinity because our pastor has already told us that it is a mystery. My dear friends, for me, Trinity is not a mystery, but it's an experience. I repeat, Trinity is not a doctrine. Trinity is not a dogma, but it is an experience. I experience God the Father every day. I experience God the Son every day. And I experience God the Holy Spirit every day. Praise the Lord for the experience that we have in relation to the Holy Trinity. We have a God who is a creator God. We have a God who is a redeemer God. We have a God who is an indwelling God. There is a great unity between the three. There is a great interaction between the three. There is a great cooperation between the three. I remember talking about this in the previous years when I preached to you on the Holy Trinity. Having this as an introduction, now I, now I would like to go to the texts which are given for us for this day. First of all, the Genesis text. Genesis 1st chapter 1 to 28. Why Genesis 1st chapter for the theme Holy Trinity? Because we have a God who creates. The creator God. But my dear friends, I am going to explain not only God the Father as a creator, but the whole of Trinity they are involved in creation. Therefore, my, my subtitle for my first point is the Trinitarian act of creation. I repeat, the Trinitarian act of creation. In Tamil, I have written like this. Padaipil sail badum muvur kadavul. All the three are involved in creation. All the three are involved in creation. God the Father is involved in creation. That is the story which we read in Genesis 1 and 2, the creation stories. Secondly, God the Son is also involved in creation. In John 1, 1 and 2, everything was created through him and in him. Everything was created through him and in him. So creator, son. The same thing we read in 2 Corinthians 5.17. If someone is in Christ, there is new creation. Christ means new creation. Christ, redeemer, creates a new creation. And finally, in the first point, the Holy Spirit is also Involved in creation. Aha. Where is it? In the Bible. The Holy Spirit is also involved in creation. How about the virgin birth? How about the virgin birth of Mary? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And you will bear a son. A new creation in the virgin birth. And of course, I should also tell you that 
in uh, Acts of the Apostles, second chapter and fourth chapter, it is not only individual creation, it is a creation of a new community. Can you see this? A creation of a new community of equality, of liberty, of fraternity. Therefore, let me conclude my first point. All the three personalities of the Trinity are involved in creation. What about us? We as believers, we as children of God, we are also, we should also be involved in creation along with God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because someone called us, we are co-creators with God. Is it not great? We are co-creators with God, creating life. Yes, thanks be to God for all those create life, involved in creation of life. Farmers, workers, all those who are involved in sustain sustaining of life we are also involved in creation we are not involved in death but in life that's all my dear friends for the first point let me go to the second point let me go to the second point the second point comes from second corinthians 13th chapter verses 11 to 13 the great passage, the great blessing, the great benediction, which comes uh, to you every Sunday, after every prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with us all. Therefore, my second title goes like this, the Trinitarian Act of Redemption. I repeat, the Trinitarian act of redemption. In Tamil, I have written, Meet pil sail badum muvur kadavul. First of all, we said, the Trinitarian act of creation. All the three are involved in creation. Now, we say that all the three are involved in redemption. How it goes? First of all, God, the Father, is involved in redemption. Beginning from Exodus story, he redeemed Israel, he saved Israel. There was a great freedom to Israel, the Exodus story. If you read Deuteronomy 26, 26th chapter 6 and 7, Lord God redeemed us from our oppression. And the same thing is repeated in John's Gospel, 5th chapter, 17th verse. My father is always, always involved in the redemption work and I am also involved in that. Secondly, the liberating Christ. Christ liberates. Christ is involved in redemption. Isaiah 61, 1 and 2. Luke 4, 18th chapter, 18th verse. And God is involved, uh, Christ is involved in the redemptive work. All the, all the miracles of Jesus as symbols of redemption. All the miracles of Jesus as symbols of redemption. 2nd Corinthians 3.17 Yes, thirdly I go to the Spirit of God who is also involved in redemption. How? It is 2nd Corinthians 3.17 Where there is the Spirit of the Lord there is redemption. Can you read that? Where there is the Spirit of the Lord there is redemption. There is freedom. There is salvation. Therefore, my dear friends, the Trinitarian Godhead, all the three personalities 
are involved in redeeming the world. What about us? We as children of God, we as believers in the Trinitarian God, we need to be involved in the freedom work. In the freedom work of the oppressed people. In the freedom work of the marginalized people. In the freedom work of all those who are oppressed. That is the result of following the Holy Trinity, my dear friend. Here, I could say that all the three are working together. Not in isolation. They are working together. We need to work together in the redemptive work. That's all, my dear friends, for the second point. Let me go to the third point, which is, I already told you that the Trinitarian act of indwelling, the Trinitarian act of indwelling, that comes from John 1, 1 to 18. And in Tamil, I have written, Wooden Irupil Sailbadam Muvur Kadavul. First of all, we said the Trinitarian act of creation. Secondly, we said the Trinitarian act of redemption. And thirdly, now we say the Trinitarian act of indwelling, the Holy Spirit who indwells. This is what we normally say. <coughs> Pastors would have told you that. Holy Spirit is the indweller. God the Father is the creator. God the Son is the redeemer. God the Holy Spirit is the indweller. But I tell you that all the three are doing all the three works. This is our special understanding today. How do we explain? First of all, Father God, God the Father is indwelling in the midst of the people. How about Psalm 91? The indweller God. How about Psalm 121? The indweller God. I will be with you. God will be with you. Secondly. Christ as an indweller. John 1.14. The text for us today. He came from heaven and lived among us. <laughs> Indwelling Christ. He lived among us. And the same Christ promises that he will indwell with us uh, to the ends of the earth in Matthew 28 to 20. I will be with you. The Emmanuel. Emmanuel Christ. Indwelling Christ. And finally, John's Gospel 14, 16. There comes the indwelling spirit. If I go, I will send the spirit of God and he will come back, uh, He will come to you and he will live with you forever. The indwelling spirit, the guiding spirit, the Emmanuel spirit. It's not God the Father is only Emmanuel. It is not God the Son is only Emmanuel. It is the Holy Spirit also who is Emmanuel. What is the relevance for us today? If God is Emmanuel, we should also be Emmanuel's. I am always happy about that name Emmanuel. And I told you that it is not Emmanuel, but Emmanuel. God is with us. We should be Emmanuel's. I am always happy about that word Emmanuel. Some names are there. There are some Emmanuel's in our church as well. Praise God for all the Emmanuel's mm -hmm. of our church. In the situation of coronavirus, we should act Emmanuel's. Even though the government asks us for social uh, distancing, we should act as Emmanuel's. Even though government asks us for, asks us for a physical distancing, we should act as Emmanuel's. To be with the people in their distress, in their struggle, in their death, in their suffering. In their bereavement. We need to be Emmanuel's. My dear friends. Therefore let me conclude. By bringing all the three points. 
let us be a trinitarian community let us be a trinitarian community i always have been telling that we are a um, united sacramental community eucharistic community but nowadays we are not able to have eucharist in the church but we could act as emmanuel communities wherever we are let us be a trinitarian emmanuel community first of all to create first of all secondly to restore redemption and thirdly to be as emmanuel's with the people praise the lord for this trinity sunday praise the lord for god the creator praise the lord for god the redeemer praise the lord for god the indweller amen Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this day, the Trinity Sunday. Thank you for your word. Help us to act accordingly as we heard from your word. To be co-creators with the Holy Trinity. To be co-redeemers with the Holy Trinity. To be co Emmanuel's with the Holy Trinity. Please bless us, Lord. We pray for all of our church members. We pray for all of our community members. We pray for the whole world. We pray that your saving hand will be upon us, O Lord. Please bless all of us. We pray for all the elders in our church. We pray for all the youngsters in our church. We pray for all the children in our church. We pray once again for all those who are not well in our church situation. Please bless us and use us in your service. Because we pray in Jesus name. Amen. Let us say the Lord's prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as you forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you.
ஆமென்